today we're going to change a motor on a 2014 easy go um i believe this is considered a txt 48 volt so the first thing we're going to need to do is uh pull the seat up disconnect the battery and after we disconnect the battery we'll go over here to the passenger side we're gonna need to get in here and there's three bolts on the back of the motor you can kind of see them there's one and then there's one where the cables are right there you can see that bolt kind of up there and then there's the third one We'll take those three bolts off and then we will be able to slide the motor off the shaft. So there's also a cable coming out of the back of the motor that is for the speed encoder. So if you want, you can take off these inner fenders. So right here, like there's a clip, two push clips here. And then there's another two up in here. I don't know if you can see them. See those clips? So once you get, you can you get a little more access for the back um, by taking out this, this piece of plastic here if you want to get more access into the motor area. Um, on this side, I don't think you really have to, but on the driver's side you do, so um let's get started so under here um and you can kind of see right here this is the positive side and then over this one here is the negative side but anywhere you want to break the circuit you can break it here that's what i was planning on doing and then you should be good to go um make sure your charger is disconnected so unplug your charger and then you can start uh, disconnecting the cables. Make sure on the cables that you mark all the cables. Um, it's A1, A2, F1, and F2. And the motor has um, a sticker on it that shows you those, and I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so this is the part number for the um, motor for the Easy Go. And there's what it looks like. So, I didn't get bolts with mine, um, and I looked through the box, couldn't find any. I also ordered up the um, separate cable here. This is what it looks like. It's got two ends on it. One goes into the this Deutsch connector or whatever on the back for the speed encoder or whatever, and then this other one's supposed to plug in somewhere. I may have to cut that off and tie it into my original one which is up in here that connector right there um so basically pull off your wheels and then on the driver's side you can get access to the motor area on this side so uh, put some grease on the spline shaft there then you have three bolts that are holding it in seven sixteenths and uh just mark your cables. So, um, I got the, the cables marked, F1, F2, A1, A2. And then these are the bolts, three of those that hold the motor in. I got two of them already back here, just so I don't lose them. And like I said, I gotta go find these bolts at the hardware store. Um, so it looks like it may be like a 7 16 um, but I'm gonna take this bolt with, check it, get the right depth, and then we should be good to put this back in. Here's the connector style that um, the original motor from EasyGo has, and you just need to get the wiring harness from your, your manufacturer, whoever you're going to go with a motor in case it's different. So you got that pigtail and the colors were the same for mine. So it was just red and white, black. And we just, I just uh, soldered them together and then used some heat shrink. 
All right, so this is again the part number for the uh, motor that I installed. And here is the original motor. So you can see the, well, this would have said uh, F1 here, F2, A1, A2. So th these are your connection points. Um, this is the original motor sticker data number. So once you got your motor out, then you just have to connect the cables back up. So on the back of the motor right there, you can see the connector and I basically had to cut that off and then because uh, this has a triangle shaped Deutsch connector and the other one was a three wire like side by side wire um, you can see I just you tape off the uh, cables mark them when you take them off the other one and then you just put them right back on and it should be good to go thank you for watching my video if you haven't subscribed click that button now See you in the next video. Thank you.